In part three of our little um, SharePoint basic series, we're going to be looking at the different sites you can create. Of course, the example that I'm using is SharePoint Online. Again, I want you to focus on the basics and understand that a lot of the functionality stays the same. Don't uh, get stuck on the look and feel. Understand what the apps are. Understand what the sites are on the pages and so forth. So in, uh, in office.com, if I go to SharePoint, um, this is my landing page. So it shows me all the sites that I follow or that I've created and that I'm using. And you'll see that you can actually create a site straight from here now. So when I click on create site, this also gives me the ability to then create a communication site or a normal team site. Just a reminder, and we'll talk about Office 365 groups later. The communication site does not have an Office 365 group. The team site does have an Office 365 group. So we'll get to that later. But for now, the team site and the communication site delivers the following. This is a communication site template. So the purpose of these are for broadcasting and communicating and sharing knowledge and sharing information. Much more information going out, much more people consuming data. Not so much of a collaborative um, situation, so definitely perfect for building intranets and news sites, etc. Then the other template builds the standard new modern look and feel team site. So you'll remember the, um, the older team sites had those blue little promoted looking, um, promoted links and um, looking icons on the landing page. I still miss promoted links. We'll uh, cry about that a little bit later. But when you look at this, uh, this two sites that it created, it's actually site collections that it created. So keep that in mind as well. Um, site collections we used to create as the top level site and then with hundreds of sub sites below it. And that of course has changed. Um, we're definitely moving away from all of those sub sites. And there's reasons for that as well. Again, to be discussed at a later point. So if I go um, to any of these sites, so like I said, this is a classic team site and you'll see that it's got a left navigation. So here's my left navigation. There's still search there. You'll uh, see that search sits in another place on uh, the older versions of SharePoint. Still pages, still web parts. And if I look at um, the more communication site template, same story, no left navigation though. So you'll see that there's a bit of a different focus between the two sites. This is much more that modern look and feel, great on mobile, beautiful sites, all of them. So any of these sites, of course, I can go and create a sub-site. So if I go to this, uh, this team site and I go to site contents, you'll see that you can build a sub-site below a site. Again, saying I don't think that's a good idea anymore. And uh, we'll definitely um, discuss that a bit later. And you'll see here that it says um, create new sub-site here. On the older versions, you'll actually have the link on the page to be able to create a subsite if you have the permissions. And if I click on create subsite, you'll see that you still see similar templates to what we had in the older versions. Here you can see that under collaboration, you've got a team site, which is the classic experience, not the modern one, a blog site, a project site. Uh, we also have uh, document center, record centers, search centers, etc. So I'm not going to create a sub-site now. I definitely prefer the more modern sites. And yes, there are site collections, but there's definitely a much better way of dealing with the sites than creating lots of sub-sites. So big difference between the two, communication site templates, which is uh, the more um, intranet looking type of, uh, of a template. Beautiful templates, beautifully responsive, um, responsive as well. Looks great on mobile. And um, then we of course have the team site template as well. Same web parts that we can add people. So if I look at this page, I can still edit this page and add that beautiful um, Euro web part that we have at the um, top of our other site. So if I have to bring in another column here, I can then go and add that Euro web part that you see on uh, the communication site template. So biggest difference is the left navigation and also behind a normal team site sits an Office 365 group, which of course is your distribution list and uh, the security settings or security group, the permissions and then all the resources that, uh, that goes with that as well. So we are going to get back to that um, in another blog. So for today, we're just looking at the two different sites for now that we can create, which is site collections as well, communication sites, um, and then of course your normal team site template. And uh, of course you can create sub-sites from the old templates. I do advise against it until you fully understand the new information architecture of uh, SharePoint. Chat soon.